Lens of Truths Top 10 Game Design 2017. <sighs> Number 10. Customizable Graffiti? -ian? Oh, what was it called? Jet Grind. Jet, jet Rocket? No. Jet Force Gem. No, that's not it. Jet Set Radio. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it's called. In this game, you run around as a hooligan defacing public property, which has been proven the best way to fight evil. But you can only spray where little arrows tell you, or you'll get in trouble. Now, to each his own, but in my personal opinion, the standard graffiti in Jet Force Rocket is a little risque. Oh my! Children, cover your eyes! But luckily, you can create your own replacement graffiti to replace it. Here, just give me a sec. Oh yeah, that's much safer. Number 9. Ruin, 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 Ruin Trials and Doom. Who in their right mind would want an endless stream of combat, which includes bobbing and weaving through enemies, mowing them down with an arsenal of firepower, and moving in for glory kills to get health pickups? Huh? You would? Come on, that's just weird. No, the best thing Doom ever did was interrupt that stream with timed room trials, where you have to do all that other stuff, but with harsh obstructions and rejectives. Nothing breaks up the pace like a 30 second challenge that takes 30 minutes to finish because it's so freaking hard! Oh, and if you're thinking of skipping the rune trials, it doesn't matter. Doom's load times will still get you. You can't escape. Number 8. Green Stars in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Man, it sure was nice of Nintendo to hold off on the green stars until after you beat the game. Who'd want an extra collectible distracting you while you explore these levels for the first time? No, no, no. It's much better to go back through each level two or three times after getting the first 120 stars. And pulling Mario out of the stage for each one, hmm, pure genius. Especially when you can see the next one while getting the first. Getting them all in one run would be absolute heresy. Can't happen. Number 7 Cutting up levels into missions in Luigi's Mansion Dank Moon. This game has beautiful and interesting mansions for Luigi to explore. Too much so, if you ask me. It's a good thing the developers knew the best way to explore an interesting level is to cut it into arbitrary chunks and never give the player full reign. Yeah, that sounds about right. Otherwise, I might get lost. And that's just on a couple. Oh, and they made sure to sprinkle gems and booze randomly throughout the missions, and if you happen to miss one, you have to replay the whole mission just to get another chance at it. Man, you guys always have my back. Numero cinco. Replaying the same flying mission over and 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 over in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Number four. Not controlling your yokai in battle in Yokai Watch. If Final Fantasy 13, the best one, has taught us anything, is that living in a fantasy world conceived by a Japanese person would suck. I, I mean, it's that controlling your characters in an RPG is just no good. It's much better for the player to manage the party as they slowly ship away that's gigantic health bars by themselves. Yokai Watch nails it, forcing you to watch helplessly as your little yokai gets decimated by some random encounter that's out for blood. 
Imagine being able to choose when Enterfly casts Cure, or when Caden attacks. Horrible. Brings back nightmares from suffering through Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VII. No one wants to go through that again. Ninbi 3 For releasing a game before it was finished, Spyro, enter the Daggerfly. Sometimes, during game development, you get to a point where you just say, screw it, let's just release the game now. So what if you made less than half the levels? So what if the walls sometimes don't load? Looks better without them anyway. So what if gems disappear into the ground and resurface after 20 minutes of searching? No one's gonna care. I don't care. Do you care? I don't even care. Congratulations, Spyro. Enter the Dargasan fly. I'm glad it worked out for you. Number n number B. Blaze he makes a stage in Mega Man X6. Picture this. You're standing on a precipice. Out of nowhere, face-melting guitar riff launches into a song so mind-blowingly insane you just wanna... Ah! You dash jump off the precipice, feeling invincible when... This guy shows up. That's right, folks. One of the hardest bosses in the game is a red donut. Good. The only way to kill him is to destroy these four green nodes. Good luck. Oh, and don't forget, you have to fight this exact same boss in worse terrain four more times. Level design! And don't forget, to get all the upgrades, you will have to play this level twice. Are you trying to say something to your fans, Capcom? And I should mention, this boss makes a cameo in Pajama Sam 3. Number race. Naming characters after playing cards in Final Fantasy Type O. Titsy No More knew the number of pretty boys and girls in school uniforms in the world was critically low, and in response created the 13 main characters of Type O. Actually, he couldn't even stop himself, so he made 15. But how am I gonna remember so many characters? Oh, well, that's easy. We'll name them after playing cards. There's Ace, Deuces, Trey of Triforia, C Cater, Cinque. Oh, and I know Jack, Queen, King, M Machina, Rem. And look, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, that's terrible. I always liked seven. Watch out, guys. She seems pretty cool, but she might eat you. And there you have it. 10 good game design from 2017. If you disagree with me on any of these, well, then you're wrong. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, cause he's kind of a bully. Join me next time for 10 top 2018 game good design. Get woke, fam!